Josh? Yeah. You're 14? Yep. What's up? Uh, first of all, Adam, you're like my idol. Thank you. You're God. I'm going to be uh, the next you, actually. Really? You want to come? You want to take over right now? Yes, I do. Because, uh, you know, I got too much crap on my plate. I'd love to take some. Uh, all right. You want to, <laughs> you want to take some of the crap out of my plate? <laughs> so what you say? All right. Let's, uh, you want to take a call? Huh? You want to take a call? Uh, sure. Okay. Can you uh -oh. help me first? Well, no. I'd like, I'd like to see how you do as me first. All right. Yeah, because the real me's got to complain about this crappy coffee I just got tonight. Ooh. Had a big conversation about this coffee last week. We're back to cr mud crap. Now. You need to mix it the way I do. Uh, All right, I'm gonna go to the bottom line. Who do we want to talk to? Is uh, sex supposed to be painful no, that's not during good pregnancy? No. It might be a tall order for Josh. This is a good one. Sandy, yeah. Sandy's thirty. Josh. All right. Person's name is Sandy. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're calling from Union City. Where? And wherever that is, her boyfriend broke up with her because she wasn't intelligent enough. But she has a BA. That's a four-year degree, right, Bruce? Yeah. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's put her on. You're going to take it and hit it, Josh. Sandy? Hello? Sandy? Yeah? You're 30? Uh-huh, I'm 30. What uh, seems to be the problem? My question is that, well, my boyfriend broke up with me because he told me I wasn't intelligent enough. I wasn't... He said that he that he considers himself intellectual and that he couldn't learn anything from me and I wasn't smart enough for him. And uh, do you think that's a reasonable answer to break up with me? I mean, I'm, I've, I mean, that's been bothering me for like weeks. I don't know what to do. And you went to college? Yeah, I went to college, and he doesn't have a degree. I have the degree. Was it a junior college or a four year? <laughs> four year. Oh, really? Where? Uh, Cal State Hayward. I never heard of it. Um, yeah, it sounds like it could be a reason. It could be a reason. Really? I mean, but, I, I mean, I, I... But I'd look behind it. Okay. Like, um, are you, are you a big gal? A what? Are you big? Are you overweight? No, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I want to be, um, I'm, I mean, I've modeled before. I mean, I'm actually, I'm a very attractive um, woman. I'm, I'm a very good looking woman. Really? Mm -hmm. Hey, Bruce! Talk, jo Josh is doing a call with him, you idiot! <laughs> oh. He's in what, what? Josh is doing a good job! How many times I gotta pour in the goddamn mic? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Sandy. I, yes. did, did, did he work with metal? You your ex boyfriend. You're call to love metal? mine. Call Jim Call Adam. No, he's a, uh, he's an actor. Not you. You I, you be you, you idiot! It's a love line! <laughs> oh, 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 I was being me. Alright, I'm getting some coffee. Okay, Sandy. Yes. Okay. All right, Josh, doing a great job. Thank you. All right, Sandy. Yes. So, how long ago did he break up with you? Did you say several several weeks ago? Yeah. Uh huh. And you've been you've been stuck on this? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I've even I've even been extra like I've even like been reading more things and studying more stuff because I feel like I, I must be really that dumb for someone to even say that to me. I hurt. He's just a jerk, me. maybe. What? He's just a jerk. Well, yeah, that's what I think too. Well, yeah, it sounds but like... I still love him. I mean, I don't know what to do, so... Well, that's that's what happens with a guy like that, and, and it sounds like he's gotten to you, and uh, even though you have a degree, did you get your degree because you felt insecure in the first place, or was it something you had a career, you had career yeah, plans? I had a, yeah, it's something that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to get my degree, and I wanted, you know, to go to school, and I wanted to pursue something, you know, further my, you know, education, get right. a better job and everything, so... Um, so, uh, are, Josh, what do you think she should do? Is, is this guy still calling you first? Don't want to ask you, Sandy. Um, sometimes. Yeah. Forget about him. <laughs> so, Josh, what's your final advice for this, for I think Sandy? You should forget about him. You should Honestly. forget about him. I think you should forget about him. He just seems like a jerk. Okay. All right. <laughs> we're, uh, we're at the end of the... All right. <laughs> I've seen it work, Josh. Thank you. Sorry Josh did a great job. Explosion, but, uh... Josh and, and Bruce were supposed to answer the call because Josh has taken my place. He's not taking our place. Right. He was doing such a good job. He was, he was doing a solid job. <laughs> Here's the thing that's funny. I about didn't it. want to interrupt it. It was like. All right, uh, but Bruce, when I do this one about three minutes into the call, when I do I uh, point at your microphone and do that? And right. you look you at me you weird. You know you never and then pressure me because I get nervous and then I, I'll start. I point at the it. mic again and right. you look at me like. Uh, exactly. That's what I was doing. And then, then I then I say talk. Oh. Then you like I do that like into the mic and you know I'll assure, yeah. I'll never I'll never do this I'll never do that again I'll never screw. But this is a great call. All right, do you want to have Josh do this one? Josh, I'll avoid this behavior in yeah. the future.
Absolutely. You know, it's sad, but uh, that's, who's that? Who's that? Sandy? She didn't even know the difference between the two of us, did she? <laughs> no, she you. didn't. This is a very dangerous <laughs> trend. I didn't want to make any comments. All right, let's... Uh, let's you, Josh is 3,000 miles away, fortunately. Well, let me talk to Jake. Oh, Maryland, yeah. Josh, talk to Jake. All right. He's 18. He cut a bump off his penis with a razor blade. Mm. He used cream to heal it. Now there's a white pus. All right, and hopefully Bruce will understand that this is a love line call right now, right? Uh, you good, Bruce? I'm, I'm processing. Yes. Yeah. The uh, four or five points at the microphone with the talk gesture, and it's just <laughs> no, uh, nothing, not, not anything. Oh my God. Okay, you're one of these guys. You what? You know what? You know what kind of guy you are? Well, I can't admit. No, not you. you hold on, hold on. You're one of these guys who I say, yeah, follow me, follow me. Get in your car and follow me. We're going, we're going into Sherman Oaks. And I look at my rearview mirror, and I see her about 700 yards behind me. This is what my dad will do. And then, meanwhile, other cars start sliding in, getting in between. Then you got to pull over and wait for the person to catch up. And then there's that one time when you make the signal, but now the other guy doesn't make it because he's 250 yards behind you when you told him to follow you. You're one of those guys who won't follow. Oh, you know how you are? You're, you're that I've guy. I've followed you before, and you're narcissistic. You get on your phone, you drive in whatever sports car you happen to have. You don't look back. You have no concern you for You don't follow, else. right? That's your thing. I, I you don't follow, follow. Quite adequately. All right. All right. But I'm just the fill-in, so I'm just All right. trying yeah, not to maybe, be. You're maybe. not trying to... You're, Maybe not even that. This guy has right. uh, a lesion on his penis. Okay, Jake's serious. got a lesion on his penis. Josh has to tackle this difficult problem. Bruce has to play his role in the show. It's all going to come together <laughs> after this. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. That is Dr. Bruce filling in for Dr. Drew, who will be back tomorrow. I guess he'll be back tomorrow. You're not going to be here tomorrow, are you? Mm, nope. All right. We'll be, we'll be sad to see you leave <laughs> at the 11 o'clock hour. Uh, Dr. Bruce uh, filling in for Dr. Drew. Same qualifications. A little different package. But uh, I say better doctor than Drew. That's oh. right. That's right. That's, he, that would be a tough, tough one. A lot a of tough shoes to fill. A lot of information in that head. Even if you can't pry any of it loose. <laughs> It's still up in there, ladies and gentlemen. Believe me, me. I know that to be a fact. All right, phone number, 1-800-LOVE-191. I am the smartest man alive! <laughs> That's Dr. Bruce. Yeah. Hey, Josh? Yeah. <clears throat> so, anyway, you want to take my place when you're older. Mm -hmm. I was suggesting uh, you take my place now. I'll still do it. Yeah, you're doing a decent job. Thank you. We're going to put you on the phone with Jake. I don't know. Maybe we should take a girl, yeah, though. This, this guys, guys don't respond well. What about Wendy over here? Trying to get pregnant? But, uh, semen leaks uh, back out of her? What the hell is that? Yeah. Uh, let's let's talk. What about Jamie? Normal have uh, nonstop orgasm? Last five minutes? All right, let's talk to Jamie. She's 15, Josh. All right. All right, she's got a little orgasm problem. You go ahead. You team up with Dr. Bruce. <laughs> okay? All right. All right. All right. Oops, I hung up on him. <laughs> Genius. I'm the smartest man alive, but you can't figure out. Oh, wait a minute. Hit the bottom we, we the got, bottom room. We, we got her back. Yeah, I hit. I, we got him back, I think. Did we got him back? All right. Hold on a second. You there? Yeah. Josh, you there? Yeah, okay. Oh, you're hold lucky on. guy. Hold on a second, buddy. Good save. Good save. <laughs> All right, let me, hit, uh, let me hit Jamie over here. Jamie. You're 15. You're on Loveline. Hi. So what's your problem? Well, my boyfriend and I will be having sex, and it's like a couple minutes into it, I'll have a, an orgasm, and it just, like, doesn't stop. Uh, how long have you been having sex? Um, since before Christmas. And you're 15? So, yeah. God. I haven't even had a first kiss. I'm 14. I'm pathetic. That's sad. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we we put Adam in a time machine and uh, transported him back to when he was 14, so he's going to be answering some of your questions. So, is this your first sexual relationship, this first experience? Yeah. Okay. Now, what's your concern at this point? Well, I was just trying to figure out if it was normal. 
Do have you had any abuse issues in the past? Any kind of problems with uh, with men or? No. Nope. Kind of... Okay. And how old's your boyfriend? He is fourteen. He's fourteen. He's nine months younger than me. Is this his first kind of thing too? Yes. Well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you can't personalize this, but I just, you know. No, no, I'm saying that it's better that they're both versions, as opposed to um, if they've had other partners before. Uh, oh, he's been listening to Loveline. Did some quick yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right, hold on. Let, let me jump in, Josh. Hmm? This one isn't going quite as smoothly as the uh, first one. A different type of call. Yeah, and I guess it's also I think, a little late. I mean, I think you got out of the blocks pretty good on the last one. This one, you hiccuped a little, you stumbled, you may have thrown a shoe, and then it's hard <laughs> to find your stride <laughs> at that point. It's so, also 1.30 in the morning. All right. Well, hey, hey, listen, buddy, you want to take over my schedule? There's going to be crazy hours. You understand? Oh, I'll be up all night. You got to be sharp at all hours. Always giving a hundred percent. Always at his best. That's me. You understand? Yep. All right, I'm going to put uh, Josh on hold. And uh, Jamie? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, anyway, you have nonstop orgasms? Yeah. 15, boy, very uh, very ahead of the curve. With yeah. the 14-year-olds. Yeah. yeah. Are you using uh, protection? Yeah. What are you using? A condom, and I'm on birth control. You are? Mm-hmm. Does your mom know about all this stuff? Yes. Where's your dad? Um. Well, my parents are separated. All righty. All right, because uh, it's kind of young, but... The fact that the difference between a 15-year-old doing it with a 14-year-old and a 15-year-old doing it with a 19-year-old is a big, big difference for me. It, yeah. it makes it a little easier that the guy's 14. You're in love with the guy? Um, we have really strong feelings for each other. Well, uh-huh. you know, Jamie, the thing is a 14-year-old guy is usually emotionally about like a 12-year-old girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe 11. So it's more like you're molesting him than, uh, than a... a yeah. Real emotion. 15, 15 year old girls like a 12 year old cat. <laughs> and a uh, 15 year old guy is like a 12 year old girl. That's basically uh, how it works, which I guess then makes him like a cat. At, uh, uh, all right, anyway. You know, the, what I worry about is you're going to go from the 14 year old guy and start hooking up with older guys because, uh, you know, when you're. When you're 15 and starting to have orgasms like that, you may get a little bored with the 14-year-old guy that's emotionally not there for you. Well, what about the part where she's not in love with him? Yeah. That sounds a little weird. Why, why do you answer it that way, Jamie? Well, it's... I don't know. I don't exactly know how, like... So we're not exactly going out either. We're not, like... Well, so are you sort of experimenting with sex? You're both interested in doing that, but not really who wants, having a relationship. Who, who, which one of you doesn't want to go out? Him or you? His mom won't let us go out. All right. So she doesn't know that he, that you guys are having sex? No. Both of our parents know. They both know? Yes. And they're okay with it? No, she won't let us see each other. All right. Well, that's probably... All right. Where's, how long has your dad been out of the picture? Um, my parents have been divorced since I was five and a half. And you haven't seen your dad? No, I see him, like, every day. Every day? If, if I want to, yeah. He lives 20 minutes away. You get along? Hmm? You get along with him? Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, you know what the concern is on, on his mom's part or parents' part about you guys having sex? What, Bruce? Oh, I'm asking you now. Go ahead. No, I was asking her if she understands I, I why. They're... Oh, oh, oh. I, it sounded like you were going to make a statement. Oh, I, like I will make a question. The concern is it's it's not healthy. It's not that they're trying to prevent her from having fun. but Yeah, I know. But I don't know. Once the cat gets out of the bag. and Exactly. So who's bagging cats anyway? <laughs> Other Did than you pick an animal that you bag, does anyone can, bag cats these days? I I don't think so. Not with the, the right. current uh, PETA environment, we're not going to be bagging That's any right. animals anymore. But all right, stop having sex. But what can you do? We can't stop them. Th- this sounds a little weird. They're not going out. She's kind of in love, but not really. Oh. I, she's using she's using protection, and that's about all we can tell her. Her parents know. And she's using protection. I that's bet if we're talking to her we parents, they'd be pretty freaked out that she's doing what <laughs> she's doing. Most likely. Jake? Hi there. You're 18? Correct. All right. Now, you cut a bump off your penis with a razor blade? Well, the phone screen, I kind of garbled that a bit. It's actually like an inch away from the base of the penis, so right nestled in the pubic hair. Mm-hmm. And it, 
uh, was really itching like crazy, and it was raised up a whole bunch. And so I put a bunch of Cordaid numbing cream mm -hmm. on that to begin with and then cut it off. And nice. then I just uh, sanitized it with alcohol. Smooth. Which stopped. doesn't really work that well. Did it have a, did it have a nice core to it that you could see? Uh, I didn't actually look at, like, what I cut away. Uh, with. Why'd you cut it off? I mean, why didn't you lance it with a needle and try to drain it? Because it didn't feel like it, it was full of, uh, like, liquid. Oh, and then... Solid. Then it's like a wart. I, I guess so, but... You, do you have warts down there? I don't think so. I, I haven't had any sexual relations. You've so not? I don't know if you can you, get it other ways. You're a virgin? Uh, unfortunately. No, it's sorry to hear that. So yeah. how long ago did you do this? Uh, it was last night. Okay, and are you concerned now because you got some drainage from it? No, I actually... Uh, Today, when I woke up, it has this, it's, it's basically a circle, and it has this sort of white rim around it, this sort of foamy, white, crusty stuff. And I was just wondering if that's, you know, a problem that I have to have checked out, or if it's normal, or... Well, th th did you trim your pubic hair away? Uh, yeah, that, that, with the razor, actually, before, I just cut away the thing, the pubic hair that was on top, and then... Cut. How, how big is this thing? It, it's probably diameter of half half centimeter, maybe a little bit less. Who the, hell, who the hell's talking about the metric system in North Carolina? Sorry, I'm taking uh, physics this year. And he sounds like a doctor. I mean, that's we, the way you describe these kind of lesions. So, well, you, wait a minute. How, what is it? Well, how many? How many? What is it? How many millimeters centi in a couple centimeter? centimeters? Mil how many centimeters in a millimeter? How many millimeters in a centimeter? It's like a couple centimeters to an inch. So you're two centimeters. So it's t no, it's like two point. Five or something, wow. or right. something, okay. right? Because it's like yeah. ten millimeters in a centimeter. It's two point three. All right, oh. wise ass. Well, you were one. All right, you're right. You're right. It's two point three. So, so here's here's the deal. Then uh -huh. it's it's the size of uh, size of a dime. A little smaller than a dime, but yeah. All right, nine cents. That's a little change <laughs> joke there, Jake. Don't yeah, don't yeah. expect it's Bruce to laugh either. Slow. It's one thirty. All right, all right. So, what should he do with this thing? Well, he should either uh, he should either scan it and send us a picture so I can look no, at it. I don't want to. So that. I don't practice dermatology on the radio, but no, really, you have to have a doctor look at this. And what motivated you to take a scalp, the equivalent of a scalpel, to yourself in your genital area? I have no idea. Uh, I'd like me, to pursue that. Let aspect. me let me ask you this, Bruce. Yes. Uh, with these uh, so-called dermatologists, do mm. these folks really ever know anything? I, I've not met a dermatologist. My my wife just had a, a rash on her neck and uh, chest and went to a couple of dermatologists, got a couple different wh whatever. No one's ever right I this thing. At, I checked that out. You, you weren't right. I was. went to a dermatologist. Wasn't, no one's right. Here, here's what I'm saying. I've went mm -hmm. to a dermatologist before. Uh, so I got a neck rash when I shaved. Guy said, grow a beard. He said, grow a oh. beard. Uh, that's what he said. No. Uh, here's what I'm saying. A dermatologist, never a big payoff with the dermatologist. They, they they give you some here's a, here's how here's how the dermatologist works. You go in, they look at whatever you got, and they go, "It's probably <laughs> okay." So they they couch everything with, "I can't be sure." It looks like what we should try. The, now here's the here's the other thing they do. They always say this too. The first thing we ought to try. Which I never like, because no. that means there's a third thing that we're going to get to 600 bucks from now that may work. <laughs> First thing I would do is get some, and it's always it's always some core, it's always some uh, cortisone, cortisone, whatever. That, that, that's number one. That's number one. Now you can go to the store and get the one that has uh, a gnat's uh, load nut worth in a basically a sea of <laughs> paba cream, right. or you can go to the pharmacy and get the stuff that actually works. But you know what? Uh, uh, okay, now listen. Wait a minute. I'm not done with these a-holes. Oh. So the first thing they do is they go, well, it looks like it probably, but I can't be sure, but it looks like... They're always confused, by the way. That's the other thing about the dermatologist. Always confused. They always look at what you got. Hmm. Huh. I never... It's like, what do you do all day long? What went on at school that is so goddamn confusing, the five rashes that people get? It looks confused. Could be a folliculitis. Might be scabies. Not sure if it's, uh, could be a, are you allergic to So, okay, A, they don't know anything. Then B, they go, what i like you to try is go down and get a prescription for. Then you go pay 80 bucks for something. You have some a-hole rub crap on you mm -hmm. at some spot you can't get to for about three weeks, and then you go back. 
Yeah, it's gotten worse. Hmm. Well, it wasn't whatever I said it was the first time. What is it with these guys? They, well, can't, they can't figure anything out. It's a very straightforward process. In medical school, it was sort of like you figured out if it was wet, they dried it. If it was dry, they wet it. Everybody got prednisone. If it still didn't go away, it was either they'd scrape the skin, maybe it's a fungus. But their magic wand is the biopsy. You could always go in there and cut out a little round piece of the tissue, and then you're going to figure out what it is. Uh, they can't expedite that situation. you you got you to gotta rub 80 bucks worth of nothing on you for two weeks before you go back and you find out it doesn't work. And why can't they tell what stuff is by looking at it? Isn't that all they do? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, when I was a carpenter and the door would be rubbing, I wouldn't go into the guy's house and go, oh, who knows? Nobody knows. No, no, it's impossible to tell. And, and by the way, do you, can't you get your money back? Oh. You just pay people to make the wrong diagnoses and have you rub crap on yourself all day long? I'm just saying, if there's any dermatologists listening to the show, please, let's get it together out here, folks. Yeah, guys medicine are, uh, is an art. You have you to guys realize are, uh, that. It's not a science. A, approaching, it, approaching. It's not a pure science. You guys are getting dangerously close to dentist and chiropractor in my book. The other, oh. the other two so-called professionals that don't seem to know anything. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be back.